Hey Budget Fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. You guys know we do a lot of cash stuffing and money talk on this channel. If you are new around here, welcome. Please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. We are doing a video a day until 100K, meaning 100,000 subscribers. It is a lofty goal. I hope you will help me get there. We are super close to 20,000 though, guys. I am so excited, but to the point of this video, today we are gonna talk about how to start budgeting the very first step. On this channel, we do a lot of what I consider to be the fun side of budgeting, and that is cash budgeting. We play with our budget binders, we move around our money, we talk about making money, but when it comes to your budget, there is something that you really, really, really need to do as step number one. Step number one of budgeting, whether you're cash budgeting or budgeting all virtually and through your bank, you need to track your spending. So this is my sticker kit for last month for the month of May. We are going to be using this layout as an example. You absolutely do not have to buy a sticker kit or buy anything to do what I'm mentioning here though. So let's talk about it and go through all of my exact numbers. I'm sharing with you guys everything I actually spent, everything I have actually made. Now we do have one week left in May at the time of filming this, so there's still a little bit to happen for this month, but I wanna share my reality with you guys for my personal life as well as my business expenses. So here it is. This is all of my bills and spending for the month of May. I will tell you guys right off the gate that the month of May was mad chaos for me. I did abruptly move, I wanna say it was like the last few days of April, I was accepted for a house, but the condition for me renting this house was that I had to move in the start of May. So I'm basically paying bills for two places this month. And typically I have kind of set up all of my bills to come out at the start of the month. You'll see it's scattered a little bit and the bills are much higher than usual. Okay, before we talk about my numbers exactly, let's talk about what this is and why this is step number one of budgeting. First off, you want to track all of your bills, all of your saving, all of your spending. The way that I break that up is all of my bills are the yellowish tan. I don't know what this color is, but all of my bills are this tan color. If you don't have the sticker kit, you could easily just use a highlighter. You will see down here, some of the things in here are highlighted colors. So fast food for me is these gray purchases, stuff. Like if I've got something on Amazon, if I needed something, it is all this yellow orange color. You'll see some purchases here and there. Variable spending for me is my gas, groceries. For me, it's also fast food, but I changed the colors just for this layout, just to differentiate fast food, because to me, that's the really wasteful spending that I try to keep under control. But variable expenses shown here in that color is all of my gas for my car and my grocery fees and expenses. You will see the payday sticker, which again, if you don't have the stickers, you could just do a highlighted color. All of my paydays are here in blue. I get paid completely from Etsy and YouTube. So you will see for my paydays, I made $582 that first week. I get paid every single week. So 553, 691. And this last week I made 1,146, which you will see is a very large payday for me. So thank you to everybody for supporting me over on Etsy. I really, really appreciate you guys. As I try to stress in my videos, I don't expect you guys to make purchases or uh, anything if you don't have the money for it or if you don't really want it, you could easily just use highlighters for your monthly spread, which is something I do. I was doing before I started making the $4 monthly budget kits. Uh, I do get paid from YouTube, so I just got paid $1,080 from YouTube. YouTube pays a month late, so that is really the only payment that I knew was going to come this month because I knew back in April that this payday was coming and what it was gonna be. I knew that I would get paid from Etsy on these days, but I didn't know if that payday was gonna be $50 or $500 or what it's going to be, right? So next week, I don't know how much I'm gonna make yet from Etsy for this coming week. I do know that Amazon Affiliate, so if you guys click on any of the links below, I get paid from Amazon Affiliate. That is at no extra cost from you. It's basically just a little pushback to me for like generating and leading traffic their way. So I will get paid $98 from Amazon to uh, this coming week. Okay, I mentioned, I called out the paydays not to brag, but I know a lot of you guys are probably interested and I really enjoy being really transparent on this channel about how things are going. Okay, before I talk you through exactly what these totals are, I just want to show you guys, you can see where I'm buying gas here and there. One, this week it was 45, 25, 
$40. So I would say I average about $30 to $35 per week as far as my like gas needs go. Groceries, I, I try to keep in check. You guys know I cash budget for that. This week though, I went a little bit over because this is when I was transitioning from living at the apartment to the house. It was just chaos. So I, I ordered some things that I probably had at the apartment, like a toothbrush, toothpaste, some things I needed that day that I didn't have moved over. And let me go ahead and call out some of my other random things. So like as far as my stuff goes, the purchases I made, Amazon, I bought a book for my kid that was $15. That same child needed some baseball gear, some like weighted balls to help him practice his hitting. So I got, that was $60 on Amazon. I bought some bread keepers on Amazon that I'm using in the deep freeze. I'm gonna show you guys a deep freeze storage or like organization tour soon. Uh, the dryer needed an adapter for this house. It, my plug would not work for this house, so that cost me $17. I did buy my son glasses. That was $120. I do have a sinking or a saving fund for that. I'm going to be pulling some of my sinking funds soon to a lot for that cost. Right now it's sitting on the card, but when it's time to pay off my credit card, I will use that sinking fund money that I save. Uh, a few other random purchases, and we're getting to a big one, but my... Can, my preschooler needed a printed picture and a picture frame of him when he was a baby. Uh, that is for his preschool graduation. I didn't have anything of just him sitting around, so I had to go buy that picture and frame for $15. And then here you will see my big, my biggest expense and sort of my biggest like blowing money for this month, and that is at Kohl's. I spent $410. That was for, <laughs> hear me out. Uh, because I don't normally make big purchases like that, but like I said, I will be pulling some sinking funds to cover these things. But both of my sons needed a completely new wardrobe. They have both gone through a growth spurt. They also both needed a new pair of shoes. We'll talk about that in another video, but I spent $410 to basically give them both a completely new wardrobe. If you guys are interested, I would be happy to share that haul with you. It's gonna be a rather big one. Uh, and then BBS shirts for my boys, both of them will be in BBS this summer. I went ahead and registered them and paid for their shirts. That was $20. So that is all of my fast food, my like buying things, my variable spending. I think the only thing I didn't cover for this last month is sinking funds. So sinking funds, I did put $370 and then $225 towards sinking funds. And that covers things like the big coals, like I need new clothes for the boys and my son's glasses. So any money that I put towards sinking funds, I just put it all on here instead of tracking each account that it goes into. The reason tracking like this is really important is first off, if you know you're writing it down, you're tracking it, you're sort of a little more slow to just randomly spend $20 at McDonald's every single day. Or not only does it discourage that reckless spending, but it might make you more aware of the spending that you're doing. So I know in previous months when I've done this, I would see Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Donuts, like four days in a row, and it makes me think, like, do I really need a coffee every single morning from Dunkin' Donuts? The answer is no especially when my budget is tight. So I know that was kind of a quick rundown. I wanted to show you guys real numbers. Also, I just want you guys to realize that this is a very, very important step that isn't always highlighted on my channel or it hasn't been. It will be from here forward. I'm going to be sharing with you guys every single month. But if you are, if this is not something you are already doing, definitely track your bills, track your spending to see what you're spending money on. Now, I didn't really call it out that clearly, but I do have my new rent and my old rent. I have internet at both houses for this month. One was to end service, the other one was to start service. And the other thing is um, water and gas. So water was pulled through my apartment previously, so I didn't have a separate water bill. The apartment would just bill me an extra $30. It was just like a fee that was added on. And then my apartment did not have gas hookup, so I didn't have to pay that. Water and gas for me this month was 180 and then 130 because there were fees to hook them up in my name. I wasn't super excited about that, but basically calling out the bills because you guys are about to see I have gone over budget. Ideally, you want all of your money coming in to equal all of the money that you're spending on everything else and putting in your sinking funds. I like to balance everything out. So like if I make $4,000 one month, I want to see that $4,000 is completely tracked on here. That tells me that I'm tracking everything down to the penny. 
It doesn't tell me I'm spending everything down on my penny though because I want to see sinking funds going in every single week because that's not money that's necessarily just spent and gone. That is money that is in our cash binders and it is in our bank sink, uh, savings fund, savings account, that's the word. <laughs> the other thing I have tracked over here is business expenses. I am gonna go ahead and call that out because that might be interested to some of you that are running a business. There are fees that come with running a business, right? So I have instant ink charges. I do use Canva. Wix is $20 and I just switched to Squarespace. So I have fees for both. Wix will be disappearing very soon. I did purchase the lights that are being used in this video because this is a very dark room. So I felt like it was just really important for me this month to get new lights. I will link them below if you're interested. I really like them. Uh, I did need some new 9x12 mailers. So I bought those for $45. I paid an editor for some of my videos. For some of my cash stuff things, I do have an editor that I call on occasion. Uh, he's He has been such a blessing. He's not somebody that I use all the time, but if I'm crunched for time, y'all know I'm homeschooling, I, I have little kids, I'm a single mom, sometimes I do call on that editor and pay him to edit some of those cash stuff things. I do have some Adobe products that I use that's $16 and then like I said, Square Space was $65 for this month. Okay, something I like to do just at the bottom here where there's spare extra space, I will total out everything that I've spent, everything that I'm putting towards sinking funds and everything that went towards bills. So because this month isn't done yet, I don't want to total that out. I'm just gonna do that on this sheet of paper for you guys to see basically what all has been paid or is coming because in this payday I'm going to include the $98 that is coming from Amazon. The only payday that's missing for this month is Etsy that will come in next week. So for pay this month I did make $4,150. So I'm being very transparent here. My pay on Etsy and YouTube totaled $4,150 so far for this month and I do have the one more Etsy payment coming. Again thank you if you support me over on Etsy. That's all you guys. Uh, business expenses. I spent $463 on business expenses for this month. So again, we're just gonna run through the totals of everything. For fast food, I spent $56. For what I'm gonna label as stuff, meaning like thanks for my son for baseball, the pictures in the frame, that kind of just stuff, including the clothes haul that is coming. Hopefully next week it'll be here but I did spend $681, the bulk of that being for clothes for my sons, that should last them the next four or five months. And then variable spending, meaning gas and groceries, I spent $636 for variable spending. So all of that totals, let's see, $1,836. Towards sinking funds, we like to put sinking funds in every single week. We haven't put our sinking funds in yet this week. Honestly, I'm not sure that we will just the way this month is going. And then y'all know because of my move, I did not have a sinking funds cash stuff, stuffing go up on the 6th and I didn't put money into those accounts. So for this month and sinking funds so far and probably total because you will see bills absolutely wrecked us this month but sinking funds we put $595 into sinking funds and then for bills because we are paying bills at both the apartment and at the home bills this month were $3,000 and four dollars. If you were to add up how much I've made this month and then how much I've spent this month, you will realize that the numbers do not work together at all. <laughs> so this month I spent $5,435 and my pay this month again was the $4,150. Of course I am going to get paid Etsy next week but that money for next week is going to need to last us for next week and if we have anything extra from our like what we need for our variable spending we pu will put it into sinking funds. I will say this is highly unlikely for me because at this stage I do typically have my budget really together. I have things pretty balanced, but paying bills at both places really just threw me off. I didn't even put in here too though that I had a security deposit that needed to be placed on the house and I had a thousand dollars fee to cancel the remainder of my least in good standing at the apartment. So there's $2,000 in the hold here that's not even laid out here. I will be rearranging the binders later this week. Likely it will be the video on Friday. Instead of putting money into sinking funds, we will probably just be rearranging our binders and pulling some money to pay ourselves back for 
some of the bills and things where we're a little bit in the hole, right? I, did that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. So for curious minds, you can pause this if you would like to see exactly all of my expenses and all of my pay. I think I've called everything out though. My phone is doing some things. You're gonna go ahead to June. You guys know I like to use my monthly spread. We are going to put the June sticker kit. This is the $4 kit that I have listed in the Etsy store. If you're interested, we are just going to take this out and set up our June budget kit. So I will have something to use for June for tracking expense expenses. And you guys, of course, just like I'm sharing a May recap with you now, I will at the end of June share a recap of June then. So if you would like to see me set up my June budget sticker kit and then chat with you guys about the expected paydays I plan on having, then stick around for just a couple more minutes and I will be right back. I just put notes over here because that is where I will continue to track my business expenses. So as those come in, I will track those here. I did just receive my YouTube check for this month. We're still at the end of May. So I went ahead and paid rent. My gym did come out automatically. So I've already paid that. So I can pull that from my cash budget binder and replenish my bank account. And the same thing for internet. So these three bills are actually already taken care of. On the first, I will be taking care of the home insurance that I have for $28. The only bills that I have that come later in the month are Walmart delivery and Disney Plus. Okay, so let's talk about bills really quick because I get this question all of the time, but people ask me how I cover the bills and make sure they come out at the start of the month. You can call your different your different places and like you can call your internet and your home insurance and you can ask them to set it up on the days that you want that to happen. Later this month, I should have gas and water come out at some point because those are new bills to me. At that point, I will go ahead and call them and ask them to move it to the start of the month. If you guys are around the channel, you know that I save in cash, I save in my budget binder, and then at the start of the month or the end of the month or whatever, however you wanna look at it, I pull that cash money out of my budget binders, I put them in my bank account, and then I take care of all of the remaining bills for the month. So since YouTube just hit my my bank account it makes the most sense to go ahead and cover some of those bills instead of pulling all the cash out putting all the cash back in that is just how I shuffle and handle that situation sinking funds I always put in on Friday so I went ahead and put those stickers down I do have a couple of birthdays this month and in, in addition to birthdays there are, there's also Father's Day this month so I go ahead and flag those on my budget calendar like side of things because I know those will come with expenses I did go ahead and put out put down my Tuesday payday stickers all of these will be Etsy paydays my YouTube checks come on the 21st or the 22nd. I went ahead and put the payday here, so I will remember that this also represents that YouTube paycheck. And then this very last sticker is to represent the Amazon affiliate. I get that every single month. And it's usually somewhere between $100 and $50. It's not a lot, but I go ahead and put that there to know that I should expect it to come. Did I cover all the things? I think I covered all the things. I do have the new stickers for this month that will be in future kits as well as the little shopping carts and the little cars that those will represent my grocery hauls and me getting like gas for the car and stuff. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys are excited to kind of get a behind the scenes of my full budget. Sometimes what you see on paper doesn't always exactly match up with cash. Clearly the goal is to make sure everything matches up, but real life, I mean, sometimes things happen. You guys will see me on Friday, shuffle around my budget binders to get things back to where they need to go, because obviously all these bills were kind of unexpected for, this, for the month of May. So that is it. I hope that you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you for spending your time with me. And as always, I love you guys, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.